This exhibition in Ulsan, for the first time, introduces the exceptional rock art of the White Sea to audiences outside Russia. The rock art of the White Sea was created some 6,000 years ago. Fluctuating water levels related to isostatic movement of Scandinavia resulted in the land surface uplift. Lower White Sea water levels caused exposure of the rock outcrops, making them available to prehistoric artists for carving. Today we have 14 locations marked by the rock art. It includes one of the world's oldest images of skiing and whale hunting with harpoon and floats, and can be compared only to individual images in Norway, China and Korea. In historical times, the area was a part of the Gulag Archipelago, associated with the creation of the Belomorsky Canal and connected to the dark 20th century of Russian history. Since the early 2000s, Dr. Liliana Yannick from Cambridge University has been working with Dr. Nadezda Labanova from the Russian Academy of Sciences, recording and analyzing the rock art. Alongside the traditional techniques like taking rubbings, they used photogrammetry and 3D reconstruction. The rock art of the White Sea includes one of the oldest depictions of cross-country skiing. The composition, visualizing a hunt, involves three hunters gliding and walking up and down slopes in pursuit of three elks. During the analysis of the recorded surfaces, it became apparent that the topography of the rock surface was translated into the natural landscape. The relationship between bodily movements, like the use of legs and hands, can be seen in the way ski tracks and pole marks are carved into the rock surface. The three-dimensional morphology of the rock mirrors the artist's own experiences of moving through a winter landscape. Ethnographic records, much as we try, cannot actually transport us back in time, but can provide us with various possibilities in interpreting rock art including stories about the creation of Ursa Minor and Ursa Major. To understand the visual narratives presented in the rock art, we need to go beyond our own visual traditions. We must be prepared to challenge our ideas of visual narrative. The whale is the largest figure in the composition. Different boats are involved in the hunt, some attached to the whale by harpoons. Elk, water birds, humans, and bears. Using an arrow to indicate direction and a dot to show the view from above, we can see the whole composition at once, as if we are in various places in the landscape at the same time, as well as in the air. This polyphonic storytelling analogous to the Cubist art revolutionary movement in early 20th century Europe, was used by prehistoric artists almost 6,000 years ago. The White Sea rock art is testimony to the universal and timeless appeal of human visual creativity.